Pooty video. Let's go. Second channel. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the second channel. Today, we traveled all the way to San Francisco. We're back here to try another one-star food review. I went online, yes, went sir, on yes, and sir, I tried yes, to sir. find out which one is the lowest. I found one as rated a one-star. We're finna hop in the car, go all the way over there. Let's okay, go okay, okay, okay. Up. I know I love bad food. It's Young Pooty P. It's Young Pooty P. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, y'all. The place we're going to right now, unfortunately, is closed. Maggie's Cafe. Maggie's Unfortunately, Cafe. Unfortunately, closed. The reviews here were absolutely trash. But we're not going to get... Damn. We're about to go ahead and find somewhere else. Because y'all know, bro. Hold on. Let's read some of those reviews real quick. Absolutely trash. But... All right. Uh, do not dine here. Very rude. Rushes you and then forces you to leave tip. Service is not welcoming at all. Did not give us water, but gave... Wait, what? But gave to other customers. So we took some water that we had with us from our bag and she wouldn't let us <laughs> nigga i would have slapped the shit out of her what the fuck <laughs> that's just being mad petty we're not gonna give up we about to go ahead and find somewhere else because y'all know bro a million probably closed on purpose my boy it's probably closed for a reason in places just be having one star pool reviews I, and i've done so many of these y'all i ain't gonna lie i think my taste buds starting to change like i'm starting to like prefer the lower review food bro like bro, what I the, the fuck bro? Store, i'm like bro, bro. What's the lowest quality meat my nigga like it's different. All right, bro. bro he's tweaking, bro. We're talking about the lowest quality meat. First of all, pause. No diddy on that one. <laughs> Cause you're bugging. Poutine is the 55th. Nigga talking about low cut meat. Like, nigga, you want some of my low cut meat? Like, <laughs> nope. <laughs> Come on, Pootie. I I know you want some of this low cut meat. Nope. That's fine. Okay. That's completely fine. I get it with you. I get it. I get it, my boy. So it is what it is, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and find something else. And uh, yeah, what you thoughts on Maggie? Oh, Facts, facts. So she just told me where the next place is. We're about to go to right now. Come on. All right, y'all. We found another spot. I looked on my phone in the car and realized it's right across the street. It's called Chinatown Restaurant. This place got 900 reviews and a two star. Very low, but I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck, though. If it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. We finna go see. I'm not paying nowhere with cash, bro. How you doing? Can I, can I do takeout? Can I do takeout? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. All right, I know this was a gem. <laughs> Already minus one star. Yo, what's bro. the um? What's the most popular thing here? I can do something like this: liver soup dumpling, sesame rice ball, shumai, shrimp dumpling, something. You said sesame rice ball. Oh, yeah, it's made which, by sweet potato. Which one is that? In the first page of the menu, it says the things up. Sesame rice ball is where? Right, the first page of here. Oh, I'm sorry. No worry, okay. I'm restarted. Sesame rice ball will be this way. Just because he couldn't do the boom loud enough. Okay, I'll take that. What's the most popular fried rice? For the combination, they will have barbecue pork, beef, chicken meat inside. Okay, I'll do a regular size on that. What is something else popular? Maybe like this visa chicken, honey, wool, and shrimp, something. Oh no, that's expensive. You want anything? Or are you good? <laughs> okay, blah, blah, blah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Everybody eats from thirty-one dollars and thirty cents. Thirty-one dollars on Chinese food is low-key villainous. I'm gonna be honest though, family. I, I, I'm sorry to pause the video, but like, let's all be honest. Chinese food in the Bronx. Um, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Crazy prices. Um, I got food with my girl the other day, and it came out to exactly what Pooty is saying. Thirty-one fucking dollars. Exactly thirty-one, and that's bullshit. It, it, Chinese food should not be costing that, bro. Fam, I used to go to the Chinos get myself yellow rice. Fucking sesame seed chicken and that shit cool of the day. That's a quick eleven dollars. Why this shit twenty thousand fucking dollars, my nigga? That shit really be pissing nope. me off, bro. Like, damn, bro. I got two hibachi spots near me, and they like four out of five stars. Damn, nigga, four point five stars. What they do to you? With me, when I'm trying to like find like a best or ideal place, an authentic Chinese spot, especially like when I was from back home. You know, like, this how I know it's gonna be good. We got this traditional looking table. We got two flies flying around. We're in, like, <laughs> on the rooftop. We got a flat screen right there with the DVD player and, like, three with different types. With the DVD types. player. Three but different types. With me, that's, like, the most important thing. Green tea ice cream. Y'all know the rules. The cameraman never eats. Don't okay, ever okay. comment down below. I'm Dude, gonna be honest, y'all. He's right, though. Pootie's right. Pootie's right. I My cameraman never eats. And, and with all due respect, Zay... Zay to Destin, my cameraman, never eats. I don't buy him food at all. Nigga starves to death. 
He's crawling behind me when we're recording. That's how hungry he is, bro. He hasn't he hasn't ate since 2016. On um, baby. No, cameraman never eats. Cameraman bro. never eats. Both eat of these bro. mine. All right. Them Don't even think about commenting. Exactly. How that bum it? How that bum it? It's bang. I. It's bang. There we go. Bang it off. That's fire. Don't you wanna eat? -y? Don't you wanna eat? -y? <laughs> no. <laughs> Y'all have to realize too, especially if you also eat food, especially in different countries outside of like Japan or like Italy or whatever. When y'all eat food mm -hmm. in these different places, the health is not going to be up to par That's true. with the U.S. health codes. But That's that does true. not mean that the food wouldn't be good. Mind you, bro, we're not a different country. We're in San Brown. I'm just saying, like, don't take a one-star or two-star review here and think of something. Because they could be like, oh, the service or whatever. Nigga, this is ice cream bomb. Green tea. Little uh, green tea. Actual ice in it. Is that oh, a seashell? All right, y'all. Got the food all here locked and ready. I'm going to be honest. I forgot what I ordered. But y'all remember, the thing that wasn't the right, they also gave me complimentary <laughs> egg rolls, too. We didn't try that. I'm not even going to waste time here with y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's get straight to it. We got these little balls right here. No diddy. Uh, I'm about to really eat this. Bro, <laughs> what? First of all, Pooty, why this nigga so damn far from the camera, bro? Right here. Pooty, if your bitch ass don't get close. Got the flies flying around. Real authentic. I had this before. This is actually bomb. We got the little sesame seeds with it. What the it's a cool fuck dessert. is that? I fuck with it. It's really hot though. Like hot is like fresh off the pan. That's fire. Well, we got the egg roll. Ooh, the flavor not booty, bad, no but diddy, inside it got like this like moist consistency. It may be how it's supposed to be. I ain't gonna lie. I'm just not the biggest egg roll fan of all time, but egg roll pretty good. I mean, it's decent. So far, we good, bro. Bro, look at the table, bro. Look at the flies. Like, I'm feeling it, bro. Next up, we have the rice. <laughs> In order to get the real feeling, let's go outside and let's eat the rice by itself. All right, so I don't know if y'all can hear. We got the traditional Chinese style music playing, but we're about to oh, finish baby, the oh, rest baby. of the video inside, man. A lot of people stare at me. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> oh. Hey, I'm gonna start doing that. If, like, people just start staring at me, I'm gonna just get the camera and just like invade their privacy. But nah, I'm joking though, but figure let's go eat the rest of the food outside. And I had parked in a bad spot. I was just trying to get my shit bit, if I'm being honest, huh? man. Bip? Looks like we're what? good, bro. We got these. Like, once again, that's pretty good. Now it's time to go ahead and try the rice. You know what um, I'm saying? How about the I would chicken, do the rice though? with chopstick, but I'm not a, I'm just not that good. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that requires um, a little bit more skill. More skill. Okay, I'm just there not we go. up for that. Skill. All right, y'all. Look how I'm parked, bro. I oh my god, bro. This motherfucker's one of them dickheads, bro. Yo, Pootie, you. Yo, oh my god. Pootie's the type of nigga to park on the crosswalk. Like, come on, bro. Like, fam, I just. I, I got hit by a person on the crosswalk, low key. Like, they were parked in front of the crosswalk, and I was on my scooter the other day, family. And I was low key trying to get off the sidewalk using the little slope thingy. And, bro, I busted my fucking ass because my scooter isn't like a really high scooter, it's like a low scooter. And I had fell on top of their car because they dumbass wanted to just park on fucking the crosswalk. But that should be pissing me the fuck off, bro. I get a parking ticket in to replace a fucking window because I have to. I had figured it was it was cheaper to get a parking ticket in to replace a fucking window because I have to right. park two blocks away. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I do this everywhere, anytime. It doesn't matter. We got this right here. Everywhere. Yeah, so you, you are that dickhead, Pooty. You are that asshole that be parking on a crosswalk. Pooty, so help me God. Let me crash into your car one day, bro. <laughs> like, oh baby, let me let me fall on top of your car. What's going to happen to you, bro? <laughs> like mine's like, where's a good place? Y'all know me. I'm a I'm a scenery demon, bro. I'm scenery about to literally demon. stand in the middle of this shit right here, bro. You get them red balloons at the back, or okay, should we have it over demon? there? I'm leaving all this in too. Yeah. Fuck it. You want some? Nah, come on, man. Take a bite. Nah, it's good. It's good here. Man, she got nah, fucking gloves on. What the fuck? Man? You got it. Like you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong. One, one, come on, bro. I, what, hey, yo, bro, come on. Why, if it was Pootie, I'd take a bite out of that low key. One, one bite, come on, come on. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't just take a bite out that rice. I'd take a bite out of that Pootie Manwich. <laughs> yo, throw me that little Pootie Manwich. Ooh, I'm feeling zesty. <laughs> yo, Pootie going to think I'm really gay after this one. Bro, you want to know? Well, I just found that they have a, a donut called Piglet. Yo, bro, what type of fat ass... Where do you live, b one? It sounds like you live in the most obese country in America, bro. No, no, one, or one, the one, state, one bite. He really tried to get in this <laughs> nigga car, bro. Where the lighting good? I feel like the lighting good this way. I'm leaving all of this shit yeah, in. Good, I'm leaving all of this shit in. Usually, when I like... How you doing, man? You good? Come on, come on, but get a bite. Get a... You full? Come on, all right. 
Feed me, feed me, feed me. <laughs> hey, yo, what the fuck? Usually, when I like to get my, like, fried rice, I like it a little yellowish, a little yellowish. orangey. You feel me? He, yeah. he knows what I'm talking about. A little yellowish, a little orangish. Okay. I got the combination rice. She said, I forgot she said chicken. Y'all heard her. It was on video. I forgot exactly what it is. And yeah, let's try it. Um. After this, I'm going to read the reviews. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm gonna give mine. If you read it first, then you're looking for shit to expect, and then it'll okay, alter right. your, your mind. Yeah, you right. know? W review, W review. That, that, that's W reviewer work. It's a maple. Wait, what the fuck is maple with bacon on top? Damn. It's it's a glazed donut with maple and bacon on top, and I'm assuming they got egg and cheese on it. That that you can't even call that a back at that point. But that's just a fat ass sandwich. That's a, that's called that's called a fat boy sandwich. That's not the Beck no more, bro. I can't qualify that as Beck behavior. You know what I'm saying it will alter you, your whole judgment. You know what I'm talking about. I fuck with it. Good. good. Got a nice taste. The rice a little, a little sticky. I think it's good. It's like actually that. good. $20 is steep, though. But it was actually good. I'd say to like steak carries. Let me tell y'all true shit though. It's easier to see a review and then let people mindset or a lot of people judge it for yourself. But you gotta realize a lot of times people don't think for themselves. So like it could be a string of bad comments. Once there's one bad comment, but my bad, y'all. Right now, stores. What I was saying, all in all, a lot of people don't think for themselves. So like, if there's like a string of comments of like, oh, this is bad, then like everybody, they'll go in it expecting something bad and trying to convince themselves that it's good. And a lot of times, that's what I said, a lot of people don't think for themselves. I still haven't read the reviews. Right now though, Not this shit good. Not a just a donut, nigga, what the fuck? Bro? Let's go and see the reviews. Before I see what everybody say, rice is good as solid, really good Chinese food combination rice. I give it a, is it the best I ever had? No. Is it flavorful? Yes. The rice and me is flavorful. I give it eight. The other sides, an eight. I wasn't the biggest fan of the, the egg roll. I'm just not an egg roll guy in general. But the but the little ball. It's probably, it was probably one of the pre-packed egg rolls. Let's all be honest. Like pretty good. You know what I'm saying? All things, all things that I think is pretty yeah. good. So I'd say eight okay. and seven. I can't rate the whole place. I, I haven't tried every single thing. But for those two things, I give that an eight and that a seven. And then uh yeah. Review time. Let's go ahead and see. What the reviews are in this bitch. Review okay, one. Okay. 29 days ago, the manager was rude and he double okay. charged us for food and almost insisted on us waiting until the pending payment was processed, even though they already confirmed the bank that it was paid for. Manager wasn't rude to us. And also, while I was, oh, this shit nice as hell what over the there. Fuck, bro? While I was waiting to pay, they even offered us free ice cream, even though the bill has been there for like fucking 20 minutes before. So, you know, someone what? said it's a scam. Yes, they serve food, but bring lots of cash for all the additional fees, like $100 for lunch. $100? $100? Yo, 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 from using my headphones. I got hella I got rice, another on. thing. I mean, like I said, my, my mindset oh, or my shit. experience. Uh, I'm fucking stupid. It's not for everybody, but, but where if you zero going? stars, you I would. Do not, not eat at this place. We were forced to order lunch. two of the deluxe dim sum sampler. I think that's what I had that I like. We realized afterwards we didn't even get everything on the menu. And mind you, I'm reading all the bad ones. There are some good ones. There are, are a lot of good ones okay, too, but okay. overall their actual rating is, is terrible. 900 and something reviews, two out of five is terrible. Do not That's fall for the for food, food. Nothing is free. If you're paying with card, rip off the bottom and check with the tip. I ain't gonna lie. It did say something with the tip. It did say something Ooh, with the tip. So okay. shit might not be free. These spring rolls was my least favorite thing. Uh, food was fine. Like so shit. A lot, a lot of bad reviews. If y'all see here, they have a 1.9 with 928 reviews, bro. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Overall, I'd say this is pretty good. Like I said, I'd say, I'd say probably eight for this. Is that high though? See, see now I'm like questioning. You know what? That is, is no, no, no. In my opinion, that is a little too high, bro. This this place low key from the reviews. It sound kind of butt, but I really need to try to fool. Damn, though. like this is damn near the best shit ever. See, but I don't want to like I don't want to do what I just said I didn't want to do. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. So yeah, it's average, fast, good takeout. I'd say overall seven five. That's 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 four stars. That's right. It's not bad. Yeah, overall it's not bad, bro. Everybody pretty was pretty nice. Nobody rude. Apple Pay. Yeah, I would have gave it like a six. I don't know, bro. Cause sometimes, fam, I. <sighs> It just really depends how hungry you is too, bro. So you gotta gotta go in there. You gotta drink a little salsa water before you go in there, and then try the food. I feel like Pootie should drink some salsa water before going into every single spot. Get that hunger going. You feel me? Complimentary ice yeah. cream, but then you know I gotta double check that bill. The day was like, yo, was it complimentary? We are gonna find out. That's it for this video, y'all. If y'all like this, more wait, videos, he not gonna let us know. Wait, what the channel. fuck? And go check Bruh. out the main channel video. Pootie, jump Pootie face. He didn't even know. 
I'm bamboozled. I was bamboozled. Wait, what, bro? That's it? Okay, um... I, I guess that's the pootie video. He ain't really check out too many spots, but... Hey, if y'all guys like this video, make sure to please subscribe. And, um... I love y'all. Have an amazing day. And once again, let me know how you're doing down in the comments below. But I'm only 18 and I've been through so much. You can't comprehend none of the shit that I'm feeling. I feel like I'm losing myself, but I don't ask for help. I'm just praying that time's gonna hit. Talk to myself, cause I know who the real is. Still in the end, I'll be...